And wait a second, Mr. Hobo. Is this the forest house you said we could stay at? Yes, this is actually the uh, house I used to uh, pay off with all the proceeds from my uh, mod battle emporium, as you recall. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Can you give us like a tour of the inside? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, follow me this way. This is pretty snazzy, Garfunkel. Yeah, it's a really, really nice place. I worked really hard to uh, afford it. <laughs> uh, totally not scamming people out of their mob battle proceeds. Um, in this way right here is the door. Go ahead and uh, Nox, would you mind getting the door? Ah, sure, I guess. You have a nice house. Yeah, this is a pretty nice place. You got, I mean, you have a nice campfire, a really big couch, and a really cool creeper head. I can't believe you got this from like selling stuff for mob battles. Yeah, I sell quite a bit of stuff. Uh, I'm actually somewhat of an entrepreneur, as you can tell. Uh, I spend a lot on this and as well as my collection of helicopters. Oh, okay. That's uh, kind of cool. So what else is in this house? Uh, just all sorts of things. Uh, it's more so like, you know, kind of the part of the adventure. You're supposed to uh, go about this house, have yourself some fun, and uh, figure out the secrets for yourself. Okay, well, let's go inside of here. Oh my gosh, guys, it's a huge kitchen. Look, Dex, there's cookies, your favorite. Oh my goodness, I love cookies so much. And there's even cake. Nom, 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 there is nom, so nom. much cake too. Garfunkel, can we eat anything we want? Uh, yeah, you can absolutely go nuts. I stocked the place just for you guys. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. Just ahead, and I haven't heard a thank you from you guys yet. So, uh, I'd appreciate that. Oh, uh, well, uh, thank you, Mr. Garfunkel. We really appreciate this. You guys are very welcome. Okay, guys, but I guess we could also, like, check out the upstairs because there's, like, a staircase right here, right, Garfunkel? Uh, yeah, there's the, uh, little staircase, and, uh, there's, like, this fire over here. Go ahead and hop upstairs. Come on, Dax. Oh, yeah, let's see what's up here, and whoa, look at this, guys. He has a huge TV. Yeah, it's like a TV room, and look, there's beds for us. Oh, this is perfect. It looks like there's a bed for me, there's a bed for Zoe, and there's a bed for Nox. Uh, Catnap, I don't see a bed for you. The purple one's clearly mine. I don't know what Zoe's talking about. Catnap, <laughs> you're supposed to sleep on the couch. Oh, the couch again? Yeah, get on the couch. Yeah, sorry, Catnap. I guess you're gonna have to sleep on the couch because that bed's for Zoe. Yeah, I usually uh sleep on that couch over there. It's quite comfortable. Uh, I actually warmed it up a little bit before you actually got here, so enjoy. What do you mean you warmed it up? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I don't know what you mean by warmed up. That sounds a little bit weird, but Catnap, I guess you can just sleep here. Sorry, dude. It's all right. I'll be fine. All right, well, guys, uh, I think it's time for me to uh, hit the road and give you guys a little bit of time to yourself, so I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Garfunkel. And hey, guys, I saw a campfire outside. Do you guys want to go hang out over there? Yeah, and then you can tell us stories. You're so good at that. Oh, yeah, Zoe. I have, like, the most perfect scary stories to tell. I bet I could totally freak all of you guys out. But don't spook me too much. No, no, no. I have the most perfect scary stories. Zoe. You're totally going to freak out. It's going to be so funny. Okay, well, let's go. Okay, come on, guys. I think the fire is just right out there. And oh, look, guys, this is perfect. There's like a bunch of benches over here and we can just tell scary stories. And it's starting to get dark outside. Very spooky. S -s -s scary stories. I, I, I don't like scary stories, guys. I'd prefer if we didn't do that. What, Nox? Are you like a big chicken or something? Yeah, I no, I'm not chicken, but I just don't like scary stories, okay? Well, if you're not a chicken, just sit down and I can tell the story, okay? Bop, 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 bop. Hey, shut up, Zoe. Yeah, see, you're scared, Nox. You're scared, but trust me, this is gonna be a great scary story. No, I'm really brave. I don't know about brave, but I'm kind of a big old scaredy cat. Oh my gosh. Wait, all of you guys are scaredy cats, Zoe. Are you a scaredy cat? No, I'm not scared as long as I'm near you. Okay, see, this is fine. See, Zoe's not scared, guys. You guys should be fine. Uh, okay. Okay, so let me start off this story. There was four friends in the middle of a forest right near a lake. And those four friends, there was a nice little purple cat. <gasps> I'm a purple cat. And there was also a little red boy that had like an axolotl hat. I wear red and an axolotl hat. And finally, there was a little girl that wears purple. And I think she has like rabbit ears or something. Hey, that sounds like me. And oh yeah, guys, I can't also forget there's like a green guy and he's like the coolest one in the group. But that's kind of besides the point. Hmm, that's not you. No, 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 it's definitely not me. These are like totally different people, okay? Okay, carry on. But these friends went into the forest and when they're in the forest, they were getting haunted by a bunch of super scary smiling critters. Smiling critters? What are those? Yeah. Well, smiling critters are basically what you are, except they're a lot bigger and a lot more spooky. <gasps> So I'll grow up to be one? Yeah, you're going to grow up to be one, except you're not going to be a bad smiling critter. You're going to be a nice one. Oh, awesome. Good. I like being nice. Yeah, as long as you don't like grow up to be mean, you should be fine. But these friends were staying in the forest. And like I said, they're getting haunted by a bunch of smiling critters. And it was really, really creepy. Like anything they did, they would find them just staring at them. That sounds so creepy. Uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, this is so much fun. Uh, I have to tickle. Uh, Dax, uh, will you come? 
want to be real quick. Wait, what? You have to tinkle, Nox? I need to finish the scary story. Yeah, you can finish it after uh, I tinkle. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, you guys just hang out right here. Uh, don't get lost in the forest or anything. Bowie, I'm scared. Protect me. Yeah, stay by me, catnap. Okay, Nox. So you said you have to go tinkle somewhere. Uh, where's a good spot you want to go? Do you want to go like deep into the forest? All right. Uh, I think I need to go further in. I don't want anybody to hear me pee. Uh, yeah, fine, Nox. It really doesn't matter. We can go wherever you want to go. Oh, what the heck? Did you see that? Wait, did I see what? What are you freaking about, Nox? It's just a really big tree. Uh, there was definitely something there. Oh my gosh, dude. I think you're just going a little bit crazy. Just go find a spot to pee. Uh, fine, I need to go up this way. Okay, fine. How about you go like right on top of that mountain and I'll just hang out over here, okay? Fine, there's a tree right here. Uh, Nox, you gotta hurry up. It's getting dark outside. I am! Don't pressure me! Oh my gosh, come on, dude. We gotta get back to the campfire already. The more you talk to me, the longer this is gonna take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Are you almost done? Uh, just about. And done. Ah! What the heck? Wait, what? What are you freaking out about, Nox? Did you see that? Did I see what? You were just using the bathroom over there. Yeah, there was some perf looking at me going to the bathroom. What? No, there wasn't at all. I've been here the whole time. Ah, uh -uh, it was gross looking. I don't know what it was. Let's get back to the camp. Oh my gosh. I think you're just overreacting, but yeah, sure. Let's get back to the camp already. Yeah, well, if you didn't tell such scary stories. Okay, come on, Nox. The camp is just right over there, guys. And hey, guys, how's it going? What took you guys so long? Well, Nox just took like forever. He was just standing over there, like doing absolute new thing for like five minutes. It was starting to get real spooky out here. I think I saw some things moving over in the trees. And there were scary noises making noises. Wait, there were scary noises making noises? I mean, that's what noises are, right? Noises make noises, yeah. Yeah, that's how that works. Guys, you will not believe the stuff I saw over there. It was horrible. I was trying to go number one, and then I had to go number two, and then I saw this scary cat now that jumped out at me, and he was watching me the entire time, freaking perfect, and then everything was so scary and awful, and I never want to go back in that forest. Guys, He's totally overreacting. There was literally nothing in the forest. I was there with him the entire time. Yeah, Nox, you have a history of seeing things. No, I don't. I see lots of things. No, you don't see lots of things. You see lots of things. That kind of like makes no sense. I see stuff right now, but I don't see things. I see this stuff all around us and not weird stuff like that. That was awful. I think you guys need to step away from the smoke. You're starting to sound like you're talking gibberish. Yeah, Nox, I think you are going a little bit crazy, but hey guys, we have this like nice little camp out here. What's like the first thing we could probably do to have some fun. Ooh, I know exactly what we should do. We should have a tent building competition. Me and you versus Catnap and Nox. Wait, a tent building competition would be so much fun and I bet we could build a way better tent than these two. Exactly, we make the perfect team. What, there's no way you guys build a better tent than me and Nox. Yeah, definitely. What, wait a second guys, we kind of have a little bit of an issue. Uh, how are we supposed to build anything? We're all in like survival mode. Oh, we'll just use this creative square. Whenever you step through it, it puts you in creative. Wait, does it actually, it, oh, wait, a second, Zoe. I don't think it put me in creative. That's because we haven't activated this creative square yet. We need to ask everybody that's watching to like in three seconds. Oh, wait a second, Zoe. Is that actually going to activate this creative circle? Yeah, you've never heard of that before? Uh, no, I really haven't, but I guess I can ask everyone. Quick, everyone like the video in three seconds to activate the creative square. Please, guys, please. Three, two, one, and wait a second, guys. Do you think it actually worked? Yeah, it definitely worked. Why don't you test it to see? Okay, let me go ahead and see if this works and oh my gosh guys they put me in creative mode look at this don't sound too surprised holy cow i want to go in creative mode yeah i guess all of you guys can walk in now and then now we should be able to make our tent builds okay guys now we're ready to build out our super cool tents and uh how much time do you think we need to build our tents i think that you and i are only gonna need like five minutes okay five minutes sounds perfect how much time do you guys want Nox and catnap we can easily do it in five okay fine we're all gonna have five minutes to build our tent and zoe do you think this is a good place yeah this is the perfect spot we're right by the water we're right by the house yeah, I think we're in a really good spot. Okay, now we need to start building out the tent. And what do you think? Should we like start making this whole thing out of like uh, wood and stuff? Yeah, wood would be perfect. That's so woodsy. Okay, so I'm thinking the first thing Zoe that we need to do is like build out the actual like base of the tent. And I'm thinking for this, we could use like stairs and stuff. Okay, you want to build like a square out of these stairs? Yeah, probably like some type of square. And actually maybe in the middle, what we could do to like represent both of our colors, if we can have one side be green and the other side can be purple. That sounds perfect. What a great idea. Okay, so let me just break out a few of these blocks and replace it with purple, and then we'll stack this out to be really tall. And oh, you want this thing to be really big, don't you? Yeah, we need lots of room. Don't you want a lot of room? Yeah, I guess that does make sense. So let me just move back all of this, replace this to be purple, and I'm guessing the entrance to our little tent can be right over here in the middle. How does that look? That looks perfect, Dax. Okay, and what we're gonna need to do is like stack up all the purple and line blocks. So how about we just go up one layer and make this like really tall to meet in the middle? Sounds good. Let me see how you do in this. Okay, so I guess you're kind of 
kind of going diagonal? Yeah, I'm trying to go diagonal. Hopefully this is like tall enough. Uh, what do you think? I think this should be tall enough. It's like four blocks high. Yeah, I think that's tall enough. Okay, perfect. So you can add that in. And I guess also what I should do is like fix the back a little bit and I'm gonna add in some lime wool and some purple wool to build the back walls. This is already looking so good. Yeah, this is looking so good. I'm not sure your guys' tent looks any type of good. And what in the world? Wait, Zoe, they're making a huge tent. Really? Bigger than ours? Yeah, of course it's gonna be a lot nicer than your guys'. Is. Your guys' is usually gonna be really lame and especially you have the lamest colors. What in the world? Wait, Zoe, they took our idea. Look at this. They're using both of their colors. Oh my gosh, you guys are such copycats. No, we're not. What are you talking? about you are definitely copycats you completely took me and zoe's idea you guys aren't original at all we can't even hear you guys we're over here working our tails off yeah 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 i think they're a bunch of like cheaters zoe but i think we can still make a better tent than them me too we're so much better than them okay do you think we should add like some stairs to this side just to make it look a little more tenty or do you think that's like a little too much i kind of like it okay perfect so let's add some stairs to the side maybe i'll connect these corners as well and connect it to the back and once we're done with that do you want to start working on the inside or do you think we need anything else for the outside no i think we could probably start on the inside okay perfect let me just add in the last few staircases make sure they're all connected in the back perfect that's looking really good right i think that we make such a good team yeah we definitely do make such a good team our thing is gonna be so much better than theirs and maybe in the front what we could do as well is throw in some of these logs that way it looks fancy that does look so good are we gonna include like a door like a curtain or something oh yeah like a door or a curtain that probably makes sense let's see do we have like any type of curtain or maybe do you want like a door what are you thinking i'm kind of thinking a curtain okay i guess we can grab a curtain let's see if we have anything good okay zoe so what i'm thinking we do is put like a nice little lime curtain on one side and then we can put a purple curtain on the other side how does that look cute but we're gonna have to close that off oh yeah i guess we are gonna have to close that off and maybe we don't even need these corner pieces they kind of look like they're just a bit in the way perfect that looks a lot better okay do you want to try out the doors real quick yeah let's do it okay let's see it perfect these look so good these do look super good but i am just gonna do a little fence for the front so nobody can sneak in oh wait a fence is a great idea why not even think about something like that that's why i'm here to think of the things that you don't think of and actually just to add in the fence why don't we put like a little gate in the front that way we could actually just walk through perfect a double entrance okay cool so now we have our little fence area built out it's all connected to the place over here oh wait let me make this side even real quick all i have to do is throw out a little bit of grass and fill this in and then put a couple of the fences down hey guys you better hurry up you only have three minutes left and ha, we're just about done what we only have three minutes left oh gosh wait wait they're going really really fast let's go dax okay i think inside of here since this is gonna be our tent we need some beds are there like cool beds that can like be on the floor or anything like that beds on the floor hmm let's take a look uh, yeah i kind of feel like i saw something i looked at their base look i'm just gonna go steal their idea let's see what are they doing it oh yeah they got some sleeping bags Zoe. let's take that idea Ooh, i love sleeping bags they're so cozy hey wait don't take our ideas you filthy cheaters what no i wasn't taking your idea at all i was just uh improvising from your idea yeah you're a filthy liar no 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 i'm not a filthy liar at all we were like the first people to come up with this totally right zoe yeah we were the first ones liars no we're not lying at all and wait zoe this carpet inside of here makes this place look really good right it's so cozy okay what else could we add in here maybe we need like some lights to the outside or something that's what i was thinking is there any like cool lanterns or something let's see are there any lanterns we could use it oh wait there are a whole bunch of lights zoe really do they actually work yeah it seems like they actually do work let me actually see if there's a couple more that i can grab it oh wait we should throw like some christmas lights on the inside and throw some lanterns on the outside that sounds so perfect very cozy okay i'll just place one lantern down on the fence over here do the same exact thing on the other side and then we can add the christmas lights into the interior and i'm pretty sure these christmas lights actually work i love christmas lights they're so festive yeah don't they look cool zoe yeah those look so good okay we also need like a chest in here since we're gonna be living in here so let me grab a chest and oh wait we also need like a refrigerator yeah we need some places for all of our food what's a good fridge and okay here we go let me make sure this actually fits and uh zoe are you fine if it's on your side yeah that's fine okay cool so we'll put that there let me just break a couple of these blocks underneath this to make it look a bit better fill this up with a little bit of the carpet okay cool now we have a little fridge and we also have a chest inside of here this is awesome but i feel like we need something for entertainment should we grab a tv yeah i just grabbed one but i'm trying to fit it right here and it's not really working oh uh, is this not like a good spot to put it okay do we have like any other tvs we could use if only we could put one on the ceiling yeah if we could put one on the ceiling that would be really really cool maybe there's like a little modern tv that we could use it oh wait there's like an old style tv maybe we can use that wait that would fit 
lights. Oh, perfect. Okay, there we go. Zoe, good job. Thank you. Okay, so we have a nice little TV. We have the fridge, the sleeping bags, and we also have the chest. Is there anything else you want to add in, Zoe? I know exactly what I want to add. Oh, what do you want to add? And wait, did you add this cool stuff to the outside? Yep. Doesn't it look super good? Yeah, honestly, it does look really good. These are some great additions. But what was that other thing you wanted to add in, Zoe? My plushie. Oh, you would have added a plushie. What? I want a plushie. Okay, then pick one out. Okay, let's see. Are there any cool plushies that I could use? It? Oh my gosh, Zoe, I found a frog. A frog? That is so cute. And so you. Yep, we have the nice, cute little frog over there. Okay, quick. Let's go ahead and spy on their base real quick and see what they're doing. Yeah, that's going to be so fun. Okay, let's see what they're doing. And what in the world are they adding in right now? Hey, Catnip, check this out. What'd you have? Well, I was actually going to put up some Christmas lights in our place if this works. Let's see. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Yeah, it'd be really cool. Wait, what, Zoe? They're trying to put up Christmas lights. Are they copying our idea again? Copy Wait, no, so I don't yell at them. Hey, hey, who's yelling at us? Wait, what are you two doing here? No, no, no. We were just um admiring the outside air and we decided to take a look at everything. Yeah. This is your tent? Yeah, this is our tent. What's wrong with it? It's made of wood. That's not a tent. That's exactly how tents are built. They're built with wood and wool. Incorrect. They're supposed to be made of like cloth or something else. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you want that? Because then it's going to break. <sighs> your place is lame. No, your place is lame. Look, yours looks like a, like a circus tent. Yeah, that's the point. Whatever. I think we only have like a 30 seconds left, guys. So you're like almost done over there. Pretty much. Oh, cool. Okay. What? Wait, Zoe, I think we should add in one more little thing. What is it, Dax? I think we need a pet dog. Oh, Mr. Doggy. Yep. We can throw in a little dog and maybe he'd like sit out here and like guard the front. That would be perfect. That means we have to get him a little pet bed. And there we go. Okay, Zoe, I put down our wolf and I named him Chungus. Chungus? That's not a very cute name. Well, I thought that was a really cute name. It's okay, but he's your dog. You're going to have to take care of him. Wait, what? He's not our dog? Fine. I guess he could be our dog. He is pretty cute. Yay, perfect. Okay, now we have a dog. And hey, uh, Nox and Catnap, I think the time's up. So let's go ahead and check out each other's places. Perfect, let's do it. Okay, how about we start by checking out your guy's uh, monstrosity? What in the world is this thing? It's our tent. Yeah, it's our tent. So why'd you guys decide to add like beach chairs I hear? That doesn't really make any sense. So you can lounge, duh. Okay, I guess. And oh, Zoe, look, they added a chair for you. I know that was so sweet of them. Thanks, guys. No, it's Catnap's chair. That's mine. It's purple. Yeah, it's purple for Zoe, duh. No, it's purple for catnap. Yeah, it's always been purple for catnap. No, no, no. It's definitely purple for Zoe. Yeah, why do you have this red one here? You could have thrown in like a lime one for me. Why would we do that? Uh, because I would enjoy it. Uh, it's our tent. Fine, fine, whatever. Okay, guys, you have cool stuff on the inside too? Yeah, come on in. Holy cow, what the heck is that? Wait, what the heck is what? I don't see anything in here. There's a thing in here. You didn't see that? Uh, no, Zoe, did you see anything? No, I don't see anything except for these creepy little fish. Creepy? What's wrong with their fish? No, no, no. I saw a smiling critter, I promise. Wait, you saw a smiling critter, Zoe? Did you see anything like that? No, I didn't see anything. But he, he was right there, I swear. Yeah, he's right here. Uh, guys, I think something's going wrong with you guys because me and Zoe didn't see it. I think you two are just crazy. No, we definitely saw this. Okay, guys. Well, what's going on inside of here? It looks like you guys have like some hammocks and a nice little fish tank. And you also have some plushies. And wait, you have a frog one? Yeah, I found a frog plushie. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. And I love it. I really like the purple that you guys included. It's like you dedicated your whole tent to me. But you did include this ugly red color, which I don't really like that much. Hey, that's not very nice. And the purple is for Catnap, not you. You guys know that purple's my signature color long before Catnap came around. But you're like a light purple. I'm the dark purple. You're like a lilac. Yeah. Well, you guys are like the same color purple. What are you talking? Go stand next to her, Catnap. But actually, I think you're a lighter purple. What? Oh. Yeah, he's actual purple. She's fake purple. Dude, he's definitely a lighter purple than Zoe. Just look at them next to each other. Look, he's like a really nice light one. And then Zoe's a dark purple. I don't know what you're talking about. If anything, Dax is the most purple. Well, I'm the most... I literally have no purple on me at all. What are you even talking about? I guess you're right. Catnap, you're going to have to change the color of your fur because you're just confusing people. What do you mean? This is my fur. Just change the color of your clothes. No way. Everything I own is purple. Do you know how much money that would cost? Yeah, Catnap, I think you should just change your fur color. Zoe had it first. This is outrageous. This is not outrageous, Catnap. She had purple way before. You're still a baby. Okay, come on, guys. Our base is just right over here, and you guys are totally gonna love it. <gasps> what the heck is that? Wait, what do you mean, what the heck is that? And whoa, wait, where's all this fire coming from? You didn't see that? It was a smiling critter. Wait, there was a smiling critter? I don't see anything, Zoe. All I see is a bunch of fire. Oh, gosh, wait, it's lighting our whole place on fire, guys. We gotta clean this up. Quick, put it out, put it out. I saw a big red cat or something. Wait, you saw a big red cat? You mean Nox? He looked like Bobby. No, it wasn't Nox. Nox was right behind. 
behind me. Wait, Nox, you say I look like Bobby? Are you serious? I think you guys are playing a prank on me. Yeah, we're definitely not. I'm telling you, it was crazy. Oh my gosh. Well, whatever, guys. Okay, there's only a bit more fire. Oh gosh, all the inside's on fire. Oh no. We have to put it out. Our sleeping bags. Oh no, our whole tent's getting destroyed. Oh, this is awful, Zoe. We spent so much time on it. My plushie is safe. Oh my goodness. This is so messed up. Come on, let's break the last bit of the fire in. Okay, perfect. I think we got most of it, guys. This is awful, Dax. Guys, that was not our fault at all. That was like a weird forest fire. It definitely was a forest fire. That was some kind of creature or something out here. Yeah, I thought it was big and red. I don't think it was a random forest fire, Dax. I'm scared. Guys, I think you're just seeing stuff, but hey, uh, I mean, how do you want to raid our tent now that it's kind of all lit on fire? Ah, there's another one. Dax, look behind you. Wait, look behind me? Guys, there is literally nothing here. What are you guys freaking out about? You keep missing it. I saw it that time for sure. It was like a haunted crafty corn. Yeah. Okay, so let me get this straight. So Nox saw one of those guys in the forest and then Catnap saw one of them and now you're seeing one of them, Zoe? Yeah, I think we should go inside. It's too scary out here. Yeah, go inside. Guys, come on. Stop being big babies. You know what could definitely fix all of our problems? What is it? If we went to the water. The water? That sounds dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, it's nighttime. No, it's not dangerous at all. And look, Zoe, you can ride on my jet ski, okay? Okay, that sounds okay. And look, guys, here we go. Here are all my jet skis. But oh gosh, it only looks like a one-seater. That's okay. I'll just hop on the purple. But the purple one's mine. You can have the other purple one, Gatnap. Oh, fine. I the red one. It's perfect, guys. But now, why don't we race around the little island over there? Let's do it. I'll be you there. Okay, guys, let's start in three. And what? Zoe's cheating. Ah! There's something on the island. There's something over there. Wait, there's something on the island. What are you guys talking about? I don't see anything. How do you not see it? Where am I supposed to see it? All I see is like a weird house over there. Seriously, you don't see the red creature? Uh, no. Am I like looking in the wrong direction or something? Yeah, the complete wrong direction. It's the other side of the island. Yeah. Oh, wait. The other part of the island. Let me see. Uh, Where's it at, guys? It just disappeared again. Yeah, it's gone. It just disappeared. Guys, I don't see anything. I think you guys are all being big babies. We're not being babies. We all saw something. I don't believe you guys at all, but hey, if you guys are so scared, why don't we just go back to the house? That's what I wanted to do in the first place. Yeah. Okay, look, guys, I'll go ahead and get us some food started. I'll meet you guys there in a second, okay? I'm having trouble getting out of the boat. I'll catch up to you guys in a second. Oh, okay. Uh, sounds good. Come on, guys. Let's just get into the house, and I guess we can start making ourselves some food or something. Yeah, let's go. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too, so how about we head to the kitchen? Let's go inside of here and see. And oh my gosh, what in the world was that? What? I didn't see anything. I just saw like a big purple cat. No way. Hey, I wonder if it was catnap. Yeah, maybe it was. What in the world? Wait, have you guys been seeing this type of stuff the whole time? Yes, Dax. That's what we're telling you. The whole entire time. It's been awful. Yeah, guys, that was totally creepy. I don't want to see anything like that again. I definitely believe you guys. Hey, have you guys been seeing some weird stuff around here? And wait a second. Is that the hobo? And what in the world are you doing back here again? Again, I would appreciate it if you called my name Garfunkel, but I was across the street with my neighbor, Simon. We were just hanging out and uh, some weird stuff's been going on. Have you guys been seeing any of this nonsense. Oh, yeah. So, like, first, Nox saw something weird on the forest, and then I'm pretty sure Catnap saw something, and then Zoe, and then finally, I just saw something right now. It was so creepy. Yeah, I've been seeing a bunch of weird stuff. I hate it. Uh, yeah, we've been seeing a bunch of weird stuff out in the forest as well. Um, I'm not really too sure how they handled this, but believe it or not, we got our best people on it. You guys. So, uh, best of luck. See you later, and, uh, keep going. Good luck. Wait, what do you mean your best people do? We don't have anything to fight them in. Uh, wait a second, guys. I just got put into survival mode. Have you guys been in survival? Yeah, I just got put into survival. I did too. As I said, you guys are uh, probably the best prepared people for this mission, especially with all the mob battles that you guys are doing. So uh, best of luck. No, you don't understand this, Mr. Hobo. We literally have no weapons. All I have is this stupid TV. All the belly aching with this guy. Can you believe it? Uh, Okay, fine. Well, if you need to prepare a little bit more, go ahead and hop across the street and you'll be able to find some weapons. Oh, wait, find some weapons? Wait, like that house across the river? Yep, exactly. So uh, hit the road. Uh, okay, fine guys come on let's go over to the house and maybe we can get some good stuff to help protect us okay but let's hurry okay guys i'm pretty sure i saw it like right across the little river over there so everyone why don't you hop in your boats and then we can just meet over there let's go okay let's see i think the house is just like right around this quarter somewhere and oh yeah guys okay i'm starting to see the house it's just right over here and he said his name was simon yeah i think he did say his name was simon and i guess he's gonna help us out a little bit hopefully he has some good stuff 
Yeah, I'm sad. Okay, come on, everyone. The house is just right here. And okay, let me open these doors and see. And ew, what in the world is wrong with this guy? Um, Simon, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Simon. Uh, thank you for coming to my show. Uh, guys, I don't know if we can trust this guy. He seems a little weird. Yeah, he does seem a little sketchy. Yeah, he's got weird eyes. Oh, uh, there's nothing wrong with my eyes. Uh, what do you guys want here besides insulting me? Uh, we were talking to Mr. Garfunkel over there, and he said you have, like, a bunch of weapons and stuff, and I see a bunch of weapons behind you, so can we maybe have some of them? Oh, yeah, but you have to pay me for it since the store, duh. What? I have to pay you? Uh, fine. Okay, uh, let's see. What weapon do you guys want? I want the chainsaw. I want the sword. Ha! Ah, I want the cool blue one. Oh, and I think I want this little, like, glowy diamond one. Okay, so, uh, we want those four. How much is that gonna cost us? Oh, <laughs> well, that's actually gonna run you, uh, probably, like, six stacks of dirt. What? It's gonna run us six stacks of diamonds, guys. Do you have any diamonds? No, not diamonds. Oh, okay. Wait, wait what did you say then? Six stacks of dirt. Oh, wait. Six stacks of dirt? That's all you want? Yeah. Or three stacks of sand, but that's kind of expensive. Uh, okay, guys. Well, do you want to start mining some dirt? I actually already have some. Here you go. How much dirt do you have, Zoe? Like 64 blocks. 64 blocks, so we still need like five more stacks of it. Yeah, I need stacks. Oh, well, I can get some more. Oh, gosh, guys. You know what? I think I have an easier way to get this. How are you going to do that? Okay, quick. Everyone subscribe in the next three seconds to give me a bunch of dirt. Please. Three, two, one. Come on. And oh, wait, guys, look at that. I got one stack of dirt, but that's seriously it. Check your inventory. Oh, wait, check in my inventory. And, oh, look at that, guys. I have another five stacks. Okay, perfect, Simon. Is this going to be enough? Uh, well, so I had to get over it. I'll let you know. Okay, look, there you go. Uh, there is the rest of the stacks. And now can we have our weapons, please? Oh, uh, yeah, you can just hop behind here. I got more than enough. Thank you. Okay, so I said I wanted this OP sword over here. And wait, what did you guys want? The chainsaw. I, ch I want this blue one. Oh, cool. And Catnap, which one do you want? Well, I wanted the sword, but y'all already took that. So I'll take one of these cool rifles. Oh, okay. I think you should grab this one. This one looks the coolest. Ooh, okay. Whoa, you look so cool. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Simon. Uh, which way am I supposed to look? Uh, well, I'm uh, looking at you, obviously. But, uh, thank you for doing business. Come back to Simon's store for weapons, whatever. Um, and I'll see you later. Send Garfunkel back here when you can. Thank you. Dax, just back away slowly. Uh, okay, yeah, that sounds good. Get out. Wait a second, guys. Do you see this little trap door right here? What is this for? Maybe you should open it. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys have been really good customers. So, uh, you guys can hop down there into my little secret bunker. <laughs> okay, that sounds a little bit sketchy, but sure, I guess we can go inside. Should we really be going down into this bunker? We don't even know, Simon. Yeah, I think it's okay. And wait, what? There's a bunch of armor down here. Dibs on the purple one. There's a whole bunch of good ones, right? What? Yeah, I want the green one. I want the green one. I want the red. Okay, perfect. And I catnap. I guess you get the diamond armor. But guys, this is so perfect. We're definitely gonna be able to protect ourselves now, right? Do I look so cute? Whoa, you do. And wait, this armor looks totally awesome on you, Zoe. Thank you, Dax. You look pretty good, too. What do I mean? Do I look handsome? Yeah, you look super handsome. And wait, why is your sword so long? Because that's the sword I chose. It looks so cool, right? Yeah, you look uh, kind of cool. And why are you wearing a gas mask? Is it because you fart so much? Yeah, it traps in here so I get to smell it. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my life. <sighs> Oh, gosh. Okay, you know what, Zoe? Let's just get out of here, okay? Okay, everyone hop inside your speedboats, and I guess we can get back to our cabin now. Let's go. And here we go, guys. I think the island is just here. And what in the world? Wait, there's a bunch of smiley critters here. Oh, no. We're going to have to fight them. Yeah, let's get them. What in the world? And wait, there's a bunch of bobbies. And oh, my gosh. Wait, my infinity sword is so strong. My sword's insanely strong. Holy cow, I'm getting them really quick. Yeah, your sword is totally strong. And catnap, is your weapon really good for you? It's super awesome, but I don't know how I feel about fighting myself. Oh, yeah. I guess that's honestly a little bit messed up. But these are like the evil versions of you, so you should be okay. And ow, Catnap, you're hitting all of us. Oh, my bad. Who gave the kid a gun? Uh, Catnap, I'm pretty sure you gave the weapon to yourself. Look, Chungus is okay. Wait, Chungus is okay? And guys, do you see any more smiling critters anywhere? No, I don't. I think we got them all. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I think we should go back inside now and kind of just relax for a little bit, because that was a whole lot. Yeah, let's go. Okay, well, now that we go inside, I think we can just relax, guys. I think I want some cake. What do you guys think? I want cookies. Yeah. Okay, perfect, guys. And oh my gosh, wait, there's another cat nap inside of here. But wait, this guy isn't moving at all. That's super weird. It, wait a second. What? He just changed into Garfunkel? 
What the heck? Oh, uh, hey, fellas. Uh, so, yeah, it was me the entire time. It was me just trying to teach you guys a lesson on uh, going to school. You don't want to end up like me as a, as you say, hobo, even though I am a very successful businessman. Things work out in life, but you should definitely go to school. Wait, what? You were pranking us the whole time, so you were all the scary stuff that was happening to us? Of course I was aware of what was going on. I was the one messing with you. Me and Simon were in on it the entire time. What the heck, Garfunkel? You can't be doing that. We were really scared. I could do as I please at my own mansion, but did you have fun? That's all that matters. No, we didn't have fun at all. We just got so scared. We just had to fight for our life out there. That's the fun part, though. If that was a super crazy adventure, make sure to watch the next one by clicking the video on screen. Bye, guys.